Okay, so before moving to integrals, we, with this we are actually almost ready to talk about uh, integrating against a measure. I want to talk about uh, something that you will see quite often, which uh, this is the point of a, a set of measure zeros, which is exactly what you think, it's a set of measure zero, and it's uh, almost everywhere uh, slang, okay? So say you have a measure, a measure space. So you have a measure of wall space and a measure on it. So a set A, a measurable set, namely an element in the sigma algebra, is called a, it's called a set of measure zero if its measure is zero. So you know the point to notice here that there could be sets other than the empty sets which have measure zero. Okay. And uh, okay, so that's kind of obvious. Now the terminology people use all the time uh, is you know they have a condition, maybe equality condition or uh, implication or limits or whatever. And they say that that property or condition holds almost everywhere or almost always. And I want to explain what that means. It's very simple, but uh, I need to you need to say it once. Uh, let me let me uh, show you give it to with an example. Okay, so say you have two functions f and g. Sorry, say you have two functions f and g, uh, and they are from x to y. Y could be any set. I don't need structure on, in, in, on the end of Y, but I need X to be a, a measure space, okay? So we say that, for this example, so we say that F equals G almost everywhere and write it like that, or sometimes even put the AE below the equality sign. If there exists a set, a measurable set, a set of measure zero, again, according, it's, it's going to live in X, a subset of X, such that uh, outside of n, uh, n is for uh, not equal, the functions are equal. Okay, so namely there is a set, it has measure zero, so it's, it, you don't see it by the measure, the measure doesn't, doesn't even see it, uh, uh, outside of which uh, they are equal. So in that sense, we say that f and g are equal almost everywhere because the places where they don't agree, uh, are contained in a set of measure zero. And note, I'm not saying that, I mean, you might have tried to try to understand why I'm being convoluted, why, why I'm not just saying that this set of all x's in x for which f of x is not equal to g of x, why I'm not just saying that this thing is has measure zero, right? Because that's what I want to bound. That's the bad set. Uh, if, if my aim is to talk about f equals being equal to g uh, almost everywhere. Uh, so the point is that this set may not be measurable, right? But it is enough that it is this arbitrary set is contained in a measurable set of uh, measure zero uh, to uh, say that f equals to g almost everywhere. Just a small technicality.